Hello. Today I'm here to talk about a franchise. Not one specific film. Um, you know, that could be sometime uh, along the line. Uh, and I just want to uh, just give sort of an overview of sorts of this franchise, which is, which is now 40 years old. Um, and they're playing the original film in theaters for a limited time. You know, all month long they're having all these films uh, <clears throat> on the big screen and uh, various films are horror uh, related for October and one of them is the first film of this franchise which is the Evil Dead um, I also have the Blu-ray for the first film I don't have the Blu-ray for the second and third I need to get those, but um, uh, I do like how uh, this this version, this edition, um, has a excellent, uh, you know, uh, you know, great uh, set of special features, bonus features. Um, this was like the 25th anniversary, I believe, version. Or no, more than 25 years ago, uh, it says on the back. Um, this has a whole bunch of special features. Um, and also chapters of three disc edition. Um, and the poster of the Evil Dead. So there's the first disc, which is widescreen. Yeah. There. Second and third. Uh, second disc is the film but in full screen which is actually the actual correct aspect ratio to really watch this in but you know with films you know there's usually at some point like a wide screen and a full screen but if you're gonna watch this film probably best to do it in wide screen and the third disc which is the ladies of the evil dead um, which of course show is right there um, various special features it has is incredible and uh, maybe I'll be able to and then the uh, original poster yeah, Stephen King said it was the most ferociously original horror film of the year author of Carrie and the Shining I just keep this uh, here. I don't really have anywhere specifically to put it on my wall at the moment, um, but um, this is a great uh, release. Um, has commentary with uh, writer-director Sam Raimi and the producer Robert Tappert on disc one and on disc two. You get uh, commentary on uh, with Bruce Campbell. Uh, there's uh, the first disc one by one we will take you the ultimate or the untold saga of the evil dead so the special features are spread out on all three discs the other special feature is uh, uh, the evil dead treasures from the cutting room floor so, like a bunch of like deleted scenes if I recall so, it's been a while since I've watched all of the special features on here, I you know, just watched, rewatched the movie. Though, because I have the, uh, you know, Blu-ray, I just I watched uh, the film on Blu-ray, which just has the commentary, all new commentary with director Sam Raimi, uh, producer Robert Tappert, and star Bruce Campbell. So you get, you know, if you have both, you get different. I guess commentaries I actually didn't re really uh, listen to the commentary on this blu-ray but uh, yeah hopefully there will be a blu-ray release which has all of these special features ported onto this and you get the different commentaries also which at this point would be like three first disc has Sam Raimi and Robert Tappert's commentary and the second disc has Bruce Campbell's 
this Blu-ray has the full screen and the widescreen edition, so that's really cool. You don't see that too often these days. Days, um, but the Evil Dead, the first one, um, is really like the one that's the scariest in terms of it's serious because afterwards they kind of went in the uh, direction of comedy I guess you could say you know more comedic tone I mean you know like scares and uh, horror horrific images are still present but with the second film it's a bit of a uh, you know this is unrated uh, this is basically in many ways sort of um, A bit of a remake of the first film, but then after a while it stops like being one, and then kind of you know obviously is its own thing and it's goes a little bit and it it expands upon the original film. All honestly, you know it's a bit more comedic and uh, yeah. These this film is awesome. Um, of course, you know, the first film, a group of friends head to a cabin in the woods, and then evil demonic spirits come out as, uh, after, like, reading from, from the Book of the Dead. And then read from that, and then these uh, uh, evil uh, demons come and attack and possess uh, the friends, except for Ash Williams, played by by Bruce Campbell. Um, and this uh, is an incredible sequel. And then you have the Army of Darkness, which is excellent also. Um, all of these films are great. Um, you know, he, uh, this film, uh, Ash goes to the Middle East, like the Dark Ages, and he's got like a, he's got a shotgun, which he goes, this is my boomstick. He's got one hand because of the second film. Has to cut off his hand with a chainsaw after it's like, like getting possessed. And uh, yeah, he then acquires the chainsaw to his hand, where his hand used to be, like that. So yeah. And. Uh... And last is Evil Dead, which is like the remake, reboot sort of thing. Um, you know, basically what happened in the first film is essentially redone with uh, Sam Raimi and uh, Bruce Campbell as producers. And uh, Bruce Campbell as Ash has a cameo after the credits and just says, Groovy, which is like his catchphrase pretty much um yeah i don't have the series um ash versus evil dead um but i have seen it and that's a great show i hope to get the uh blu-ray set of that you know the complete uh series didn't get to have a fourth season because stars canceled it unfortunately um but you know that happens um, you know, shows that are very popular, um, and it expanded upon the franchise, of course not this film, but, you know, the first three, um, it really did, sh uh, showcase, uh, what happened after, like, you know, the events of the trilogy, and, uh, yeah, the, apparently a fourth film, an actual proper fourth Evil Dead film, is said to be on the way, but Ash uh, Williams, uh, at least being played by Bruce Campbell, likely won't reprise his role. He said he, he that's it after Ash vs. the Evil Dead ended, got cancelled. That's really all for him. Um, 
perhaps uh, he'll change his mind at some point and he can have like a, either a cameo uh, or if it's not completely written yet I don't know the real status of the fourth film at this point I've just heard a whole bunch of stuff like it's happening and Bruce Campbell is happy with just basically retiring from the role so if Ash Williams is in the next film uh, might not be played by Bruce Campbell um, but also I don't know unless they do a complete and total reboot remake or what have you or another remake but I think if they do anything with like a, in terms of rebooting or something they probably could follow this Evil Dead film I would believe but you know I don't know uh, it's 40 years since the original film came out uh, and I remember watching these films and just enjoying all of them uh, I saw the remake in the theater with friends and that was fun uh, uh, it was a great time had by everybody and uh, yeah uh, with the fourth film whatever it happens hopefully it'll be good I believe Sam Raimi will be involved um, now not sure if he'll be directing it or if he'll just produce it um, I believe Bruce Campbell will produce it also but you know it won't be necessarily a, uh, acting in it which will be a bit unfortunate to not even have him as a cameo in the film, but, you know, that happens, unfortunately. You know, time goes on, and people are like, I'm, I feel happy, I've done what I can as the character, and it's time for me to retire from that part. Uh, of course, he's had a excellent career playing various characters uh, in films and TV shows. Um, so at least, you know, Bruce Campbell is completely, you know, happy with what's, uh, what he's done and uh, with the franchise. So, you know, if he doesn't come back, um, I can understand. But it will be a bit disappointing not even to have him in a cameo. Like, if he did have a cameo, hopefully it will be more uh, bigger. It will be much bigger than just groovy, you know. Uh, which was funny, uh, I thought. Just like he, he's not in it, but then, like in that major capacity, but he, he's there for a little cameo, and I thought that was, you know, that was funny. Uh, but yeah, I love this franchise. I think it's great. Uh, it is one of my favorite horror franchises. Um, they do do uh, horror comedy quite well with the sequels. But, yeah, you know, maybe sometime, maybe next year or so, I'll uh, <clears throat> talk about all these films. And maybe also I'll get the complete series of Ash vs. the Evil Dead. And if I do, you know, I can rewatch all those and then give my thoughts on the series. Um, yeah. What do you think of the Evil Dead uh, franchise? Do you enjoy it? Do you dislike it uh, do you think it's okay uh, is there any one in particular you think is the best of the franchise um, I really like the first film I like the sequels and I think the remake is pretty decent for you know what it is um, I think the show is uh, fantastic of expanding this franchise um, yeah it's these are just great films and fun films to watch over and over. Um, you know, I have no real uh, complaints that I can uh, really say. So, yeah. Uh, they're all enjoyable. Uh, of course, when he uh, chops off his own hand in the second film, very, very bloody. But, and again, what would you expect from a film? Uh... called uh, Evil Dead, um, you know, with, like, demonic uh, like possessions and such, or, you know, 
like deadites and whatnot. Um, yeah. These are fun films. If there's anything that these films uh, uh, do well, it's you know don't you know uh, don't uh, yeah don't uh, read from the Book of the Dead unless you want evil uh, spirit entities to come forth and attack pe attack you the people you care about and uh, uh, just. Uh, and then, and uh, those you care about. So yeah, that's really all I have to say about the this franchise. Uh, I do hope to talk about each of these individually uh, one day. But you know, the reason I didn't just talk about the first film is because you know I haven't really talked about it on my channel. I might have mentioned it once or twice here and there in passing, but nothing uh, substantial. In that it's uh, really me just discussing uh, uh, the films so hopefully that will happen one day um, but uh, yeah for its 40th anniversary I thought it was just appropriate to talk about these films uh, to an extent and uh, hopefully how uh, I've you know done it done so quite well uh, again Leave a comment about what you think, think about the franchise if you've seen it. Um, favorite installments and all that jazz. Maybe you like the TV show better. Um, TV show is excellent. Um, but, you know, I don't know if I would say it's the best of the franchise, but again, that's me. Um, so yeah, I hope all of you are having a great day, having a great weekend and hope your weekend is great um and i'll see you all next time